time they go underneath for a simple pitch and catch. And not only do you get the pitch and catch, Brandon, but you're able to keep the receiver moving when you hit him with the drag route. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line, Sharif Floyd in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. Again with a juke. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And the Vikings, they'll be set up well as... Let's see what this offense can do here on this play. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Back to throw. And Gresham has it left side. And he's brought down. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. Here we go now. now on first down, he'll drop to throw it, dumping it off for Johnson. David Johnson on his way. Touchdown, Cardinals. David Johnson, his 17th touchdown now on the season. And the Cardinals have retaken the lead. Well, he's used to running it that distance. Here he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who is a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete. back on the field here. Let's see what they can do on this play. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is a little bit higher. They feel like they've got something going, and they feel like they can attack again and put more points on the board. Are you scoreboard watching if you're the offense, or are you just focused on this drive? It, it, we wouldn't be telling the truth if we said that they didn't scoreboard watch. Everyone does it to some extent, but you've got to set it aside right now and just focus on this series. That'll take care of the scoreboard if they punch it into the end zone. Let's go! And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. He'll look to throw. And Gresham's got it over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine 
and I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. But to me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. He's got the hook up to John Brown on the right side. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that'll make it a second down. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. On second down, Johnson. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. They'll drop the throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Michael Floyd. And that takes us from second to third down. Well, that plays a statistic that's going to go on the defensive team stat sheet. Won't necessarily reflect in hours, right, the overall game sheet. But you and I know that they keep count on pressures, hits on quarterbacks, all those things, hoping to increase that throughout the game. And here we are in the fourth quarter, and they got a big one. Yeah, it's such a close game, a very big one. And fits the exact right word. Over the middle, there's almost always traffic. And he is in for six. Touchdown, Cardinals. David Johnson. Now let's see what they can put together. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in the touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense. And they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. Play clock winding down. They go to Johnson again. And he works it to the 30-yard line here right at the 30. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are working. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Sharif Floyd in there to get him, and that's sack number 12 for him on the year. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. And the play clock's running down. Back to throw here. Fitzgerald bringing it in over the middle. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get more rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. And Catanzaro's kick is right through, and that'll make this a seven-point game.
to live action. Let's see what this offense can do here on this play. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And they can't get the long connection as it falls incomplete. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he didn't on that play. Let's go! On third down, he'll drop to throw. Finding time. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. And now the Vikings are going to stop it here on defense with a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. That'll be a 48-yard punt, one yard on the return. back on the field here. Let's see what they can do on this play. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. They set for their first drive here in overtime, and this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team, and that first drive can dictate the whole thing, because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. And it's been loud in here so far. Hurry up, here we go. Three, Looking to throw. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Daniil Hunter in there to drop him the seventh time tonight. He's gone down. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing. They've got his man complete. A huge play there in overtime and even 40 yards. I know they had good coverage downfield, but you have to wonder, on third and long like that, how does that happen that they can get that far downfield and complete a pass? you got to guard the sticks, understand where you are, so it's almost like someone fell asleep at the switch. And now that the play's been completed, they've got to dust themselves off on defense, pick it up, and figure out how to not let that happen again. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Four yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a third down. Offense coming up, needing two yards on third down. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. 